Welcome to part nine of our How to Design and Build an Airplane series. This is actually part one of two videos for the construction of the airplane. In this video, we're just gonna be building the wing and the fuselage. There's not much more to say other than that, so let's just get into the build. The first thing we have to do is trace out all of our ribs and then cut them out. Obviously, I did this all by hand. Uh, if you're doing this for your SAE Air Design competition, you can have somebody professionally laser cut them to have much more accuracy. Uh, I recommend that, but once again, we're trying to keep the budget real low here, so we're doing everything ourselves. I built this whole airplane using a couple of rulers, an X-Acto knife, and a small hacksaw. So we're keeping the tool list real short here. So now we're going to put together the spars. Since we have an overall 39 inch wingspan and all I could get was 36 inch balsa wood, we have to add a piece to the end. What I did here was make an angle cut on both pieces and glue them together and then cut them to length. Then when we put the spars in the wing, I made sure to put the joints in different locations. Here I'm putting the spars through the three ribs that mount to our fuselage and set our angle of attack. cut the ribs there's going to be a little bit of irregularity at the tips because they're so narrow. We're using a trailing edge so I wasn't really worried about it. So here I'm cutting off the trailing edge of each rib so I have room to mount my solid trailing edge. Trailing edge stock can be purchased. You can use it for your ailerons as well as your trailing edge. However, I'm cheap and impatient, so I decided to carve it myself. It worked out okay. Uh, the ailerons didn't really go so well. We had to remake them later on using sheet, and that actually turned out pretty well. 
Um, but if you're going to try and carve your trailing edge, take your time and mark everything out as best you can so you're accurate. And just sit there and be patient and you'll get there. The aluminum foil here is used as a barrier since super glue won't stick to it. It let me set the angle of my trailing edge accurately without any worries of sticking to anything extra. I'm installing shear webs. As you're installing them, you want to make sure that the grain is vertical and not horizontal. The grain itself is not very good in shear, so you want to make sure that the grain is perpendicular to the direction of your shear. In this case, that means our grain needs to be vertical. Having the one-to-one -one scale drawing was very helpful when building the fuselage. I was able to lay the wood on the drawing, trace them out, and cut them out with a high degree of accuracy. Design. Uh, the original design I had where the supports came in from the corners of the fuselage down to the corners of the engine mount looked really nice but it was really difficult to build so I just put them in the middle of each side. That's it for part 9 of our How to Design and Build an Airplane series where we built the fuselage and the wing. Check out part 10 where we finished building the airplane. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas for future airplane or non-airplane projects, leave them in the comments below. Follow us on Instagram at HugeBears. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.